Hey, what's up, Vapors? Stir Fry here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Yup RDA by Famo Vape. Let's take it downtown and investigate. So we have the, by Famo Vape, we have the Yup RDA. It's blown up. In the bag, you have placeable O rings, a 510 drip tip connector, squonk pen. Some spare grub, some spare grub screws, and always famous blue flathead screwdriver. So there you have the yup. As you can see, the yup or the the P symbol. How they're doing? Engraved on the front. This one is in black. You have the 18 drip tip. Let's see if I can get this out. Oh, it's pretty tight there. There we go. So you see, it's a goon style grip tip. Drip tip. Grip tip. Haha. <laughs> got your o-ring on the side now these are your airflow controls now as you can see they're slanted slanted down to force the air downward because the air holes are at the top of the top cap and it guides them down there is your build deck uh, and here you have your positive and your negative on different sides you got flat head adjustable grub screws gold plated contacts two o-rings now as you can see there is a notch right there which also has one in the top cap so in the top cap your airflow top this little groove here makes it kind of helps guide the airflow and at the bottom see if you can see one there there we go you see that little notch and that's so when you put it on it locks it in place and pushes the air directly into the contact right right on your coils now at times i compare this to like as i see a lot of similarities with the dead rabbit i like the airflow holes a little better i like the mounting for the coils much better now this is tight at first but you know with usage it'll get easier to use as you go play a 510 connector at the bottom and it's slightly protruding and it can be changed with a there we go with a bottom feed or a squonk pen it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward I'm going to do a quick build on here and I've rolled two alien claptons these I rolled myself and I've got five rolls in each or five turns and I'm going to mount these we're going to wick and then we're going to vape. So to begin, I backed my screws all the way out. Now you can see the holes on here. They're pretty beefy. And I like to mount the way they mount at the direction of these grub screws. So if you're using flat coils, it won't twist them when you put them in. I said I rolled two coils already. Now I'm trying to get a matchup of how high I want to sit this. So if it's sitting like that, or rather, that's the way they're going to sit. And I do like the fact that the holes go straight through so you can drop your coils in and drop them straight all the way down. So I'll place a couple coils in here, drop them straight down, still going to be way high. So I want to try to get them down close. You want to bring, mount them pretty close to the deck. Okay, so I'm going to cut these. Now roll these at 0.3, I mean at 3.0 rather. And we're going to cut them. We're trying to keep them as close to the deck as possible. But I don't have to cut them too short because they have holes. Like I said, they have holes at the bottom. Pass all the way through. So we're going to cut them, say, about here. Match that up. Try to cut them the same. Cut this one also. around and the great thing is I like about with the whole straight throw is you can adjust them you don't have to cut them too short and you get enough room for adjustment so there's our coil and we're going to mount the first one and I said they're pretty beefy holes so you can put some really pretty nice sized builds in there there we go close yeah 
That looks about right. And then we're going to tighten our screws up. Now I'm going to give you my little pros and cons right now real quick. At least the first one I see. I don't like the flathead grub screws. I prefer if they're like Phillips or even Hex. Because sometimes, you know, when you're dealing with something this small, it's a little hard to keep your screwdriver in the slots. There we go. There's our first one. And we're going to put in our second. I said, these aren't the best coil builds in the world. I need to get some better wire. I'm not a coil builder. And my my hat's off to those guys who those those crazy coil builders who build these beautiful, beautiful builds I've seen. There we go. Get our focusing in. There we go. And again, like I said, I'm not too crazy about these flathead grub screws. Can you see how my screwdriver just slides right out? I mean, yeah, once you get into a hole, that means I'm missing that all together. It's not that bad. Yeah, I missed that one all together. There we go. And we go. There we go. And this is why I hate... It's a little so hard to do when you're going through a lens or looking through a, a display. See, again, I think it's not, it's not, it's not in there. All right, let me pause this and do this off screen real quick. All right, I'm just redo the coil. Much better, much better. And again, three hundred point one nine. Us, and there we go. Much better. Okay, let's try to pull these up. that's looking good there so you want them to heat up in the center first and then radiate out perfect I just got to adjust their heights a little bit alright looking good looking good alright we're going to wick these up and we're going to wick them really quick and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to actually be mixing two liquids these are some of my favorites. This is the lemon twist. They're both lemon twist. This one is a strawberry mansion lemonade and a wild watermelon. I actually mixed these by accident one time on the RDA and they taste fantastic together. So that's what I'm going to do today. So let me get this wicked up and we'll go back up top and we'll talk about it. So here we have, I just did a real quick wick. I'm going to fluff. Now I'm using a quick fluffing here. Thinning out bit. 
I'm using cotton wick, um, cotton bacon, which I love. There's a new cotton bacon prime. All right. Now you don't need to cut these too long. You rather don't need to leave them too long, because the one thing about the yup is you don't have that deep. Uh, you don't have that deep of a well. Like you see the well here. I'll show you really quick. It's not deep at all. It's a little piece right there. So, and when you squonk, it just spills over the top. So you do have slight wells in here, which are really the way it's set up. You don't have to worry about too much runover because it's all filled with cotton. So let's take these tweezers. And so I just misplaced. I don't know how I did it that quickly. So I'm just going to bring it down. Now, these aren't too bad. These aren't too bad at all. Just trim it just a little bit more. And the whole object is to just get them down into this little well here. Tuck. There we go. And tuck. There we go. And there you have it. Now real quick, I did tell you it is a 24 millimeter mine. It is a 24 millimeter RDA. I'm just gonna put this together quickly. Again, notch to notch. So it's firmly seated. And once you get that in a notch, and it sits. And there it is. It sits nice and flush. There you go. There's your top. And just really quick, because I didn't do it before. Again. 24. And from top, from the top of your drip tip, you're looking at 32, 32.2. Almost 32 and a half. Like I said, we're gonna, gonna juice this up a little bit. I right, said so we're gonna mix this again. We're using strawberry mason, lemonade, another mason on here. Juice it up nice and thick. And I'm not gonna do the bottom of the wicks until I end a little bit of watermelon. That second there. And a little strawberry. I'll put my top on before I really saturate these coils. So I want to make sure, and you see, you line your holes up to bridge a little bit there, give it a little twist, and, and she locks in. All right. One thing I just want to point out here, if you see this, there's a little ring on the inside of this which is good so you don't if you tilt it you won't have your juice running out into your airflow control or your AFC holes like that set it up and you two coils it's also got a single notch if you want to do one coil build and there we have it I'm gonna take this back up top and vape it So there you have it. This is the Yup RDA by Famo Vape. Quick, quick cons. Uh, the one con I did have, and I'll probably come up with some others, were the grub screws. 
I don't like the flathead slotted grub, grub screws because it's a little hard to get the screwdriver in there. You can have sometimes it'll slide. Unless the grub screw is all the way in, you lose your a grip on the screw. But let's talk about pros. First pro is on the inside, there is a ring that keeps the juice from leaking out your, well, your a AFC. Because when you tilt it, the juice, there's any extra juice in there, won't run over that lip in there. That's a really nice feature. I love the fact that you can do single coils on this. You do single coil builds or do dual coil builds. Now, it doesn't have that deep of a juice well, but that's fine. Again, you have that, that little ring in there that keeps it from overflowing. The flavor on this is really good. You know, the, the coils sit pretty high. And you can see that right there. They sit pretty high up there. Your airflow control, your AFC is right up top. So, you you know, you're catching that, that vapor right at the right point. Now, it's a little, the chamber is a little bit compressed. So it's not as domed as most other RDAs are because of how thick. Now if you can see that, see what it's going to be. That's how thick the walls are on this. So your chamber has been reduced. But it is a good flavor. It's a very good flavor. Uh, it was really easy to build on with the exception of those grub screws. But it's a really easy build. And overall, I really like this RDA. As you saw before, I did a quick build on it. And I mixed flavors. I mixed flavors. I know I try those two flavors separately. I love the watermelon. Strawberry is not the best, but it's the best of strawberries that I've had. I'm not a very fan of strawberry. I mean, I love strawberries, but I haven't had a good strawberry flavored juice. Now, uh, Twisty Liquids, Strawberry Mason, Lemonade is rather good. So is the watermelon. Mix them together, you got a perfect, perfect juice. So overall, I like the fact it's an 810 drip tip and uses the uh, goon style drip tips. I like the fact you can put a 510 in there. It's a standard size RDA. Again, I like the easiness of build. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now, as I was saying before, I may catch me on Instagram. If you haven't, check me on Instagram, Stirify Vapor WBC. I have an extra. I'm going to vape me an extra one. And I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm not going to wait for a thousand likes or anything like that. Don't have enough subscribers. But I'm going to be giving this away. Leave a comment below. And in one week's time, I'm going to go through my comments and the likes. And I'm going to pick somebody. And I'll send you, you know, contact you. What I'll probably do is I'll mark your comment. And it's going to be a $4 FDA fee for shipping. That's it. So, subscribe like comment i'd love to hear from you this is stir fry vapor out vape strong and vape on